Oh, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Lillian today, or tonight, because it's the evening this time. I, did, I, did I get them swapped around at both times now? Yeah, the, I think you want to say good evening, everybody, and welcome to... Yeah. Uh, anyways, I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Fearsome First Mate Drakir at your service. And yeah, I still can't figure out why my avatar just goes static, you know, stuttery at times. And yeah, welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, where, well, we're already dealing with an Infernal Machine twice now. Again. <laughs> That's a, a pun at this point. 
It was in an infernal machine we had issues stored in the game. And now we have issues with another machine in game. Yeah, we had it with the clock at the other side. And with this thing, which I thought we were done with, but apparently we can turn one more time. Okay. And open that up. So, yeah. The entire time we were looking around for where the fuck do we need to find whatever the hell we need, we could have unlocked that. Like, to be uh, somewhat uh, fair, typically the solution to right. something... Ooh. The solution to a door like that is typically close by. So that is so going to open up. Hmm. Yeah, he he even mentioned that it didn't feel right. Yeah, okay, let's see. We are at 4.12 4 now. 12 saves in this damn level so far. Okay. Let's uh -huh. grab it. An idol. Okay, yeah. A fall away floor. Into... Okay, I, I would have expected spikes, but no. I guess more of fall down and break your... Bo That's probably a bit more horrible. It says you don't be alive. The broken bones unable to get up. Yeah. And then stop. That, that, that's actually... One would think they too really to put on spikes. Maybe, but still, it could also be they are too cruel to bother with spikes. Yeah. Something's wrong here. Again. It's also very obvious when something is wrong with their freaking skull tiles on the floor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big fucking mallet. <laughs> I... I was expecting many things, but not to get fucking hammered. <laughs> clip? We're gonna clip this? <laughs> uh, button pressed. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I, said, I think we both were expecting the fool to fall down to try to spike you. Not between mm. expected threat from above. <laughs> Uh, okay, that, that shaking is the, just the camera shaking from uh, still thinking it's stand. We're standing on that plate or something tile. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, uh, in a in a different timeline, Doctor Jones somehow knew he was going to face a giant fucking mallet, so he's going to take precautions. Also, he's what going to take a mallet. I think mean, I mean, that was a, a full battery ram. Okay, can we crawl underneath that thing? Oh. oh. If we hadn't had our pistol drawn, we would have seen the bloody hammer. Let's see, are we low enough like this? Yes, we are. Okay, and I, okay, yeah, that that is a hammer. Oh, is it a hammer? I don't actually know what the difference between a hammer and a mallet is. Motherfucker. More of, is it either a hammer or a damn battery ram? But those things really hurt a lot on the explosion, on their death. That's our last health, first aid kit. We have a good amount of these left. Okay, we might need to start stocking up in the in the between in the between levels uh, shop. My guess is that he, while he's traveling to the next place, he's also just, well, visiting somewhere to stock up on supplies and such. That would make sense, actually. What does letter A do? Work. Nothing! <laughs> nope. How exciting! Okay, it doesn't play every time, but it does play on some notes. Not really notable. Trap. Hmm. No spiders? Wait, hold on. 
Can we catch it? Really? Hey. Okay, that was fast. <laughs> Real fast. <laughs> I'm expecting to at least be able to move. We'll see the... Did, did, did he... Did we just only see him uh -huh. fall over? Yeah. Idol. Okay. Third time the charm. Oh, dear. There you go. But yeah, if we didn't Something come in running here man. with the pistol drawn, we would have seen the fucking thing coming. <laughs> uh. Also, why do monks have a giant wine barrel in a trap? Like, well, it... When you play with ro uh, heavy rocks in the middle, it is quite a sheep trap. There we go. We keep our distance, we avoid, well, a lot of pain. <clears throat> How are we going to dodge that one, though? Or... Okay, I was thinking that that lever would activate this elevator. But maybe it doesn't, maybe it already auto-starts, similar to the, uh, the one at the river. Let's give this another shot. Nice sensor trap. Actually, wait. I was uh, finally. I, I, I was to ask you about that earlier before you kill yourself with the trap. I did not actually expect that to do anything. What's this? I'm happy it did. Again, I was to ask you this earlier, but then you got killed by a barrel. And I tried to stop you from doing it, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, something new figured out. Uh, we have... We haven't tried it on an enemy yet, but I would ex assume that it would knock the weapon out of their hand. The way it would likely try to pick it up again. Anyways, the re... Oh, hello. The reason that we're up here is because we were we need to find some sort of golden idol, and I don't think it's the one that we just picked up. It fits. Let's see. Okay, a bunch of platforming. That's one way to yeah, keep the monks fit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. And we can just go across. Danger. Okay, I think he means the next beam because that does not look as safe secured with all the plaster or whatever is covering the wall broken off around it either way if the doctor says danger we are going to make another one of these yep so that leaves a new one down there that's kind of concerning with that freak of a tree, 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 just to break off. That is very old and moldy oh, then. Hmm? Okay, got nibbled in the freaking ankle. By I was what? looking around for a spider or something, but it, since one didn't pop up. Yeah, ah. it was on the other freaking corner. I missed that little bugger. Look what I found. Uh, I think it's less the beam that failed and more the part of the wall that was holding it up. Let's see. How do we get 
back now, though. Can we jump up high enough to get to this? Nope. Hmm. Maybe you're running... It doesn't really matter too much. Okay, enough. Uh, that is something that is like uh, likable about, I'm presuming, this game and with Tomb Raider as well, is... Uh, you will always jump a, a set amount of distance, depending on where you jump from. So, you can be very secure in what sort of distance you'll cover. Yeah, for, I kind of hate it when the jumping is almost round or like... Or, damn, this sauce to really fail. Okay. Like... You take a good, good distance to run, to probably, properly jump. But you also end up just doing a tiny jump after so much journey and you just... Bloop. Okay, this just dumps us out back here. Okay. Nice little safety net. I'm presuming that's partially in place because they had a lot of monks who would just trip and fall into the water. Can we fall down this <laughs> without hurting ourselves? Yes, we can. Wait, what is... Okay. I did not think that they would respawn. Okay. Uh, once we're back, I'll just put up another save so we don't have to go around if we fail again. Uh, yeah, one time, good enough to try. And there was stuff downstairs, I presume because of the beam landing in the water and forming a platform and not floating off or something. Oh, now we know what this one does. Oh, it's a call button. <laughs> yeah. Was expecting to still be facing this the lever there. Okay, nice little level design. I always expected you to get attacked by another spider. Or worse. Now then. Don't think we can jump to that, so we'll just have to shimmy around here again. And then see if we can find a way to get across. Because there is something over there on that altar. And if there's something on an altar, we want it. Um, um, not always do you think about it. I, I think you may be thinking of someone at the altar. <laughs> uh, more of what might be left over on the altar, depending on what altar it is. Yeah. Okay, I don't think we can make that jump, so we'll have to go here. And so I will make that save once we're across here, because shimmy sections are always the slowest part in platforming games like this. Wait, what did you call it? Shimmy. Is this what it's called? I'm pretty sure that's what I've seen it called in multiple games. So... A nice little feature in Tomb Raider Anniversary that we can actually sp speed that up somewhat. Huh. I, I, I guess I never thought of that word in that manner. I just thought it was... A slang for uh, just shuffling along or something. No. Okay. Should be able to grab here? Nope. Okay, can we at least do some exploration down here? I'm kind of glad there's no crocodiles up here. Yeah, I, I don't think they'd be able to feed them. Okay, if, if we paddle, we're too slow to really go against the flow. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we cannot climb that. Yes. Okay, we don't need to be... Oh, hello there. 
Okay, we can whip to the, the poles here. We don't need to be completely 90 degrees angled to a ledge. There we go. We still need to be at the rather shallow end. Let's see. Where could we even go from here? Hmm. I see several. All Hello. by the damn whip points. Okay, maybe we do get to need to get out of the water there. And let's see, we can go up there. But how do we get over there? Hmm. And the question is, what can we use what can we gain out of using these whip points if we are even if we can even <laughs> make use of them like this. Let's see, we're standing about under it, but he's not responding. Hmm. Okay, there has to be a reason to... Is this mostly just so we can go back here? And I forgot. No grabbing whilst holding a weapon. Hmm. At the very least, we can take a look over here, then. Yeah, don't forget to breathe. Mm. Indy doesn't have gills. Okay, can we get on here? Nope. Okay, it is the jump button for this, isn't it? No, he won't grab on there either. Okay, where are we supposed to go here then? Where? Let's take a look in the middle here. Maybe there's some sort of lever. Hmm? There's no lever, but there is a room. One that's probably too low down for us to get to without dying. Oh, hello. Some was, uh, <laughs> someone hmm. tried to beat us to this. Medicinal herbs. Okay. Oh, wait, that's, that's over here again. Okay. okay. I don't think we took damage there. I don't think so. No. I think I know how that monk died. Yeah, pretty sure they didn't feel like trying to drop down like we did. Oh, well, I think they... Short, shortcut. Well, I think they hid there from the ice uh, things. Also likely. Then I have starred. <laughs> Some short... short <laughs> it is a shortcut to go that way. Uh, the other way is just to go the whole way around. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, so that still leaves us with the question of how to actually get over there at the wrong button we make our way back up and I immediately jump back down in our freaking course what the uh, heck are we supposed to do with you hmm. let's see I... uh. Hmm. Wrong button yet again. There you go. Yeah, there is something over there. Something blue. I really don't see how we... Well, I see part of how to get there. We need to get to either there or there. Oh, no. Oh, I got some stuck in my head again. Hmm. I think you can get fish song since you said blue. <laughs> dabba dee dabba die. Yes. Okay, I think maybe we should just do a reset because we can drop down and grab onto lower ledges. So maybe if we drop off of the beam to our left here, we can grab onto the lower one since we very obviously cannot climb down from a. or we can't climb up from the water. There. 
And now we try the same over this way. Nope. Okay, do we bounce off something or were we going too fast with that? Hmm. We're going to hear that thing a lot, I think. <laughs> okay, just bounce around like a pinball. Okay. Playing this game with no saves would be utter hell. Oh, that it would. And I started to wonder we need to look up a guide for this one. Let's see. One last look around. See, we can't go across there. There's no way we can get from there to up. Actually, we could. If we get on top of that, we jump to the back beam there, open, jump to the closer one, get up there, pull the block out, and go up. But then the question still remains, how do we get there? We can't, we can't seem to climb up on that beam in the water. We try to drop down from here. Let's see. Maybe drop down from this one? I think we were either going too fast or we hit something on the way down on the other side. Let's see. It is reasonably close. Still probably in bone-shattering brains, but... No, actually, no damage at all. Okay. So this is how we're supposed to get over there. We were a bit literally standing right on top of it. Any solution? Uh... Yeah. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yep. Too far, Dr. Jones. <laughs> okay, at least we know indeed. how to go now. Too far indeed, Dr. Hillian. Okay. Simple jump to here. Turn right. back down. Is it really a, a... Is it really Dr. Jones? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, wait, yeah. He's a professor. There we go. Another I, copyright I claim on the it, video. I... Uh, wait, what? Nah, just joking. Uh, I haven't gotten any copyright claims in the previous uh, Jones videos. Oh, that's good. Uh, what I was about to say is, I'm probably going to have to investigate this wood Professor and Doctor titles. Like, if it's a medical doctor, it makes sense, but... It seems to be a bit... ...weird whenever it comes to historical uh, tight, uh, yeah, types of people that work with history and such. I think most d professors can be called doctor as well, or is it some... Hmm. I'm entirely sure now. Yeah, uh, it, it, now you see why I get curious? Yeah. But I do recall Indy getting called Doctor in some of the... Actually, I think he got called... He gets called Doctor Jones in this very game as well. But we'll just have to see. Yeah. I feel like I heard some kids where they just call him Professor Jones. He's a professor of history, I believe, at the very least. Archaeology probably as well. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh. Uh, okay, that, <laughs> that could have gone down on our head. Yeah, that's not why I said wait. Uh, this one also surprised me. Oh, not standing close enough. Hmm. 
There we go. There. And it's hey. your flower pots. Hmm. A plant bulb. Um. <laughs> Um. All right, this is the mouser that we found. <laughs> okay, that was supposed to be probably a bit of a, a scare or something, but nope. One shot, one kill. Yeah, he just looked at Roder. All right, yes. Load the gun. Out. There we go. Another day, mm. days of work done. <laughs> see any more Russians here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What I was to say is, ain't there something is called a doctor's degree in medicine and history and such? I think so, yeah, and I just mentioned it. Maybe that's why they use the term doctor. Could be, yeah. Uh, um, probably also why many people in medicine are called doctor for they absolutely need it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Still got some questions probably... with the doctorate of the uh, of one of the dentists that work for my primary dentist, but that's beside the point at the moment. Yeah. For I suspect there are less doctors within the other science field as such. Yeah, medicine but... or Medicine and health is the one that had the most, since they all well, kind of needed. No, historical doctors are important. Just, yeah, medicine doctors are more the ones that you interact with more. Okay. They've got some very good compost to you, it seems. Uh, yeah, for a bit of you know, context to that, uh, either two, uh, you know, either two dentists completely missed some big damage on my uh, one of my teeth, or the one that well actually filled it is a hack that just did a lot more damage than was needed. Well, more <laughs> any damage at all is bad, but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Okay, I was more expecting to, to get a fall there because the camera got stuck. <laughs> okay. So we've got a little plant here. What do you know? The bulb sprouted. I'm no gardener, but I read somewhere that plants need light. Okay, and we've got a big ass shutter above our head. So I guess we do need to open it up now. Question is if we can make that distance. Okay. A little power walk at the end. Actually, we don't need to jump it. That actually felt right. Okay, we need to put it back in. Yep. Okay, you could have just left it in place then, Indy, if we needed to enter, if we needed to give it more. Oh well. He does have a bit of a case of sticky fingers at times, doesn't he? Just grabbing any relic he can get his hands on. Wait, what? I thought you picked it up. <laughs> yeah, but. Typically in games, it, if something needs more done to it, they'll leave. They'll leave it. Yeah, they will leave it be, even if you try to pick it up. Okay. Wait, is this one going to do this every time? I 
white light. Okay, any further steps? Now the plant is a bud. Okay. No other steps. Nothing at all. And then no. I'm. Hmm. Is that what we need to bring back or something? The, 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 the Okay, I should have expected that there would be more around. Okay. I heard you. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Get some ammo. Yeah, there. Come and this one here. can't think of anything else that we can do with the plant, so we'll just have to see if that is what the, the old lady wants. Actually, before we get up, let me put down a save, just in case we need to go all the way back down. Yeah, and I have suspicions what that plant might do. Okay. Yep. Oh, we're both too close. <laughs> okay. Guinea pig. Wait, what? Okay, that did not disarm him. <laughs> I'm just going to load back just because he's actually putting quite a hurt on us. <laughs> okay, I, I, I really thought that the whip would disarm an enemy, but that is maybe a bit... A, a bit more advanced than uh, this era of gaming could handle, really. Okay. Trading for the bullets that we... <laughs> we wasted spying over his shoulder. <laughs> Bit of a Mexican standoff there. Just both of us too close to actually fire. And he wasn't going to move back in case he was going to get, if that was going to get him shot. But, well, we got him anyways. Wait. Don't you need a third or more parties for Mexican standoff? I guess so. Hmm. Okay. That is if I understand it right. Hey, hey. That's how we do it. Did he just call us faith? Nah, uh, I, I think he said something in, uh, in rush. Hmm? <clears throat> Someone like I said it. Hey, thief! So, he's out of kits. Okay, is this what you want? You again. Do you have the treasure? Here's the best I could do. I hope you're not disappointed. Not yet. Ah, your gift is great. Now. Okay. Here is the way to the Babylonian curse. Return when you have cleansed the sanctuary. Beware the ice. Okay, the lady lifts. Uh, if if you can just chuck that thing, why don't you go cleanse it? Uh, okay, I thought she would get younger from it. That I understood. Though. I thought she would. 
eat it and such, and they don't expect the other um, effects. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Time to the eyes the place. Oh no. She said, beware the eyes. I... And the way she, t she toned it. What have we here? I called it. Yep, it's a big old asshole. I was actually to ask earlier, is there gonna be a bigger one? Okay, so, oop, skull turning around. Let's see, I think it is, from my memory, I think it is too big to actually hurt with our current weaponry. Unless we pull out a fucking howitzer somehow. So... Really? Do you have an opening you can see out through? Oh, wait. I... I remember now. He's an asshole who sticks to the walls. Uh, oof. Pardon? Get up, get up. Uh, oh, push. I can't push this any further. Can't pull it either? What? There's no room to maneuver. Yeah, just bounces off. Okay, what do we need to do here then? Uh, I wonder what, what the heck are they? Ow. Annoying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait. Uh, are they supposed to be yetis? Medicinal herbs. I don't think so. Unless you want to remove all of the fur and such. On the concept of a yeti. Ah, this. Yeah. That's that kind of why I'm hesitant to use the term yeti in this case. Okay, that opens up a path around, but we need something else. Let's see. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be something around here. Click, click, click. Okay, he's getting close again, so let's move somewhere he won't be able to hit us for a bit. See, there's supposed to be something around here. Now what? Medicinal herbs. Very much, I very much doubt they would be out. Jackass is enough to put it behind the statue there. What's it do? What did it do there? Yeah, that sounded like it broke something. Can we pull this further? Is there something hidden on the other side of this now? We can. Okay. Yeah, but we can't pull it any further, so now we just have to go around. Somewhere to our right. Hmm. <clears throat> Pardon. Okay, it's either right above us or straight ahead. Uh, right above. on the left here. We're lucky that does only a bit of chip damage. 
I suspect I'm with the wrecked heat will do more. We are going to lose some of our healing items from this. Ow. Icicle straight to the freaking head. Oh yeah, he's right on top of us. Yep. <laughs> There's the freaking ice frog. Okay, get moving, Jones. Aren't you almost dead? Yeah, there's still the full red circle to go. And, uh, hello. What's this? Part of the infernal machine. <laughs> Name drop. Okay. Ergon's parts. Then we can use this uh, mechanical macarena, or no, what, what are those things called again? The uh, maracas. Sacred maracas. <laughs> yeah, Mr. macarena Walker. is a dance. I think. Yep. Okay, now we should be able to use this because when we. Yeah, it didn't do much. I think we need to lure it back down or something. Nope, back. It does not like that. It, it likes it not so... It dislikes it so much it causes his arm to face through the freaking space. Bridge. Okay, get over here, you. And there we go. One nuisance removed and one health bar almost empty. So, one drama kit. There we go. Uh, yeah, now I'm curious. Do you still have the manual for this game? How did you get around? Then again, you 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 lived at a bar that probably would have had needed five Here, people. I guess this belongs to you. No, take it away. What is it anyway? I don't know. A relic. You have found part of something terrible. Are you prepared to continue? Yeah. There's supposed to be more of these things. Although Ergon dwelt with us in Shambhala, his companion, Taklit, journeyed onward to the Eastern Ocean. There, he took advantage of a people starving for knowledge. Are you talking about the Pacific? That's a wide stretch of water. Look for a tropical island among many others, where men have lived for eons uncounted. They call it Palawan, I believe. Follow this path. Okay, did not expect that up in the icy mountains. And there we go, another low score, but oh well. Let's see. Yeah, I I, I kind of don't like this score is IQ for it. Kind of feels like think it's, it's insulting you. I don't think it's supposed to be IQ or something, unless I completely overlook something each time we enter the level. It's just IQ. Oh. <laughs> well, that's never been a good measurement of intelligence anyways. Let's see. Uh, yeah, trauma kits and the big medicinal herbs cost the same, so they will have the same effect, I presume. So I think we are set on medicine for the moment. So let's move on. Over to Palawan Lagoon. Palawan Lagoon. Ditching the jacket. Ah, paradise honor. 
Hard to believe anyone living here would sign up for the troubles of civilization, unless somebody or something lured them into it. Okay. Yeah, we have a big ol' area to explore, and we need to go find some sort of lead. Hello. Looks like this place used to be inhabited, and not by cavemen. Let's see. Ooh, hello, that's a Japanese flag. Ooh, uh, hello. Ooh. How to say this? It's not many games where Komodo Dragon is an enemy. Yeah, and you do not want to get bitten by those bastards. Yeah. Hmm. It's it's not so much that they have a medical kit. venom or anything like that. It's more that their mouths are such a breathing space of uh, bacteria and such that if you get bitten by one, you are going to get all the infections. I think they actually have venom. Okay, but I think that's a lesser issue compared to, well, everything else. <laughs> Is this just an extra bit? Hold on. I'm going to have to investigate get that. Aha. At least on my investigation list get longer and longer. Okay, now we're a true adventurer with an actual machete and <laughs> such. Oh okay. dear. So what it was like it required. Now then. Uh where to continue from here? Because we have a yeah. big old lagoon to investigate. And Wait, sharks. hold on. Hold on. I saw something behind you. On the ground. Is that a dinner? I can't shoot it, though. But, but why would you shoot a crab? That, that That's not how you cook it. Yeah, because also, you use a flamethrower. Also, are those supposed to be red? I think... Hmm, something's in there. I think uh, crabs come in a lot of different colors. Oh, hello. Kill it. Yeah. Ugh. I can cook that too. Yep. Okay, one thing I would, one small thing I would change if this game were to ever be remade is first fix the <laughs> the ledge climbing is to is to let you grab onto ledges whilst holding out a weapon. It's it just automatically gets put away and pulled out again once you get up. Uh. Okay, didn't, didn't the other one take two shots? Ooh. Oh, I was expecting to be shooting something else there. Uh, uh, huh? Okay. Some adventurer. Treasure hunter. Yep. What have we here? An entrenching tool. That's called a shovel, Indy. <laughs> no need to be fancy here. There's something here. Oh, okay. Uh, time to go dwarven and diggy diggy hole. <laughs> well, well, look at this. Okay, not required, What's this? but nice to have. An idol. I'm getting a feeling. He got a feeling. And I can't. Jesus, no, I'm not gonna try to me that song. Hey, medicinal herbs. 
Look like a tiny palm tree. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything else in here? So I'm keeping this thing drawn instead in case another spider. Also, is this oddly lit up? Or we're... That is suspicious. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Uh, wait, what? Shoot it. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Okay, I, I, I know there are supposed to be buttons for pulling out the artifacts, but... This wall looks like it's ready to crumble. Okay, what, is, what does the K button do then? That was the one I was hitting and it got that response out of him. Uh, let's see. Uh, edit control. Where does the K do? What does the K do? Let's see, L for lighter. Okay. Uh, satchel, grenades, no. There's a map. There's an actual map in this thing. Uh, health Q, okay. What is K? Chalk. Oh, chalk. Okay, we haven't actually used it at all. Okay. Now what? Uh, that this makes sense, seeing as this is a very similar design to the old boomer shooters and such that it has a map like this. I think boomer Lance has a map like this as well. It is of the same era, about. It That's sounds it. like a pun. Also, it seems that. Uh, it's not Shark? just the sharks we need to worry about. Uh, they fail at making sharks. Let's see, can we actually... <laughs> they put the eyeballs too far back. Okay, we can't take pot shots at it like this. And we can't take shots at the mines as well. We're missing. Each of those shots missed. Yeah, you. I don't. From what I saw happen in the water, I don't think you can shoot it when it's in the water. Yeah, it's a bit speedy. Okay. No, I mean, I mean like the way they don't so the water with block bullets. No, I think it, I saw the bullet pass through. Just it was too fast to actually get a hit on it. Let's see. Get across and see what is over this way. Get our ass nibbled. But nibbled by two fish. Okay. Yeah, did, did you see what the eyes were? Yeah. The, that's a bad fail. Yeah, I, I think people. Uh, I. I think people just didn't uh, fully uh, grasp what a shark would normally look like. So it could be a case of that. But yeah. No time to uh -huh. practice your quick drawing, Doctor. Okay. Well, now that we have a shovel and a machete, let's see what else we might need to go find. Nothing just spawning by us being near, or do we just need to cut through first? Knew it! I don't think it actually locks on whilst they're crawling down like that. Yeah, there's a huge spiders. Another one. And there's something... No, that's a crab. Hello. Whoa. Now, the war was not kind to that ship. Or anyone aboard, I'm guessing. Okay. Oh, hello. Let's see. 
Uh, hello, Bruce. Might not interest it now. Okay. And okay, we can probably get onto the ship by the flooded part over there. Okay. Can I... Oh, oh, it's minus one outside apparently. Okay, it's a few more fish than I was expecting. Yeah, whatever you do, don't swim into the land. Uh, land. Sea mine. How the heck they are all I almost called them land mines. Well, they are still connected to land. But I... Wait, what the heck are those? I think they're supposed to be piranhas. Uh, no, no. There's no piranhas in Indonesia. But I do know they do have some nasty looking fish. That wouldn't be the first time that piranhas were placed somewhere where they don't actually exist. Uh,. It is definitely not a piranha. Completely wrong body and head. I think there is something else that you might have seen for um, uh, River Monsters, uh, the fishing uh, series. Uh, yeah, they they did. There are some other rather vicious uh, fish out there. Aha! An arming device for a Japanese torpedo. Okay. Well, we have a torpedo we... over there. Yeah. Also, it, it remains infinitely funny to me that they had to stop the show, not because of any scandal or something, or him getting too old. What was doing over there? Those to oh, those totems there, yeah. Uh, but the fact that they ran out of fucking fish to hunt down, <laughs> that's what I stopped with the series. <laughs> they caught all the river monsters. I didn't know they stopped. Ugh. Let's see. I wanna, I, I wanna know that I have a little bit of a grudge against the series. No. Lock. Well, every time I wanna watch about uh, cryptid monsters as such, and try to find monster shows, most of my YouTube search end up being river monsters. Okay. This annoys me. Here. Okay, I think the sequence of things that we need to do now is arm that torpedo, ugh, arm that torpedo, then send it off if it still works. Blast another yeah. hole in oh. this thing and then enter through that to the control room. Because I don't think we can jump from the box to there. Okay. Just Watch out for the next, uh, the first new threat in the area. There's something worse than sharks and uh, whatever that fish is now. Uh, okay, you okay, Bruce? Oh, that's a derpy looking shark. And um, watch out for seagulls. A torpedo, and it's still in good shape. It isn't too long after the war in this case. Let's see. I'll just aim this tin fish over here. <laughs> tin fish. <laughs> that sounded like fucking Taz. Well, that ought to do it. <sighs> Don't lie to me. That that spinning noise sounded like the Tasmanian devil. The spinning. Kinda, yeah, yeah. It, it, it is missing something though. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not gonna replicate the noise. Uh, uh, sorry, what? Just the random string of uh, nonsense noise. E growling, grunting. Uh, problem. Okay, we can attack with the machete. And make some fillet. Okay. What have we here? A box. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really measure up to the previous one we found, but oh well. Also, why is this place going a bit RGB? 
What? Like the color shifts. His doors open. Come here, you. We want some sushi. Yeah, that. I think you can agree that's not a piranha. Mm. Oh, hello. That. Okay, is there another air pocket around here somewhere? I do Let's definitely can say that whatever the fish is, definitely carnivorous. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's enabled us a few times now already. Okay. I'm keeping this out just in case we find any more in here. You will grab my blankets. Be a little bit cold. Hello there. Oh, hello. How's you today? Hmm. It's uh, been a bit since I've had sushi. So I should probably go get that sometime again. Really? Also, I probably should have just saved at the water, uh, at the air bubble. Uh, let's hope that there's another one in here. No, there's not. Okay. Let's see if this is an instant death then, or... Yo, no, not instant, but real freaking quick. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm going to use one of these for this. Wait, what? Oh, come on. Really, it's locked. Okay, yeah, we we should have saved a bit back. Okay. Come on. Yeah, it's not too much, at the very least. Well, we okay. need to. Oh wait, yeah, you you saved. It looked like he was just about to bite you real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, nothing too much lost, and we know what to do now. Even if yeah, we got the machete to get back at least. Okay. Hmm. And we know what to do at least now. Yep. For well, one, don't overextend on the water. <laughs> And uh, two? Save more. Hmm. I'll bring in there. Machete is your friend? Yep. Spider is not friend. Spider is today's dinner. <laughs> okay. We can't skip these little cutscenes. Whoa. Now, the war was not kind to that ship. Or anyone aboard, I'm guessing. Okay, be on. Actually... Okay, we can scare you off with the machete as well. So the was coming back. Okay, get on. Get the fuse, or whatever its technical term is. And yeah, we'll put another hole in the, the another hole in this thing. Okay. Now what what is going to be buried there? Aha. An arming device for a Japanese torpedo. And I'm guessing we're going... I'm guessing we need to use that hammer to pry the locks off or something. I very much doubt that we're going to find any intact keys around here. Probably. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, we swim faster than the ugly fish. Don't taunt it. We're just stating facts. Okay. okay. Did it fail to bite you anyway? Yep. There we go. That's two dealt with. A torpedo, and it's still in good shape. Wait. Was he actually talking there whilst we backed a bit? Okay. I didn't think they'd actually have that. I didn't think they'd actually do that since we don't actually see him from the I'm front just while he's talking. Fish over here. Do it. I'm half tempted to uh, see if I can find a clip of just Taz spinning and blabbering like mad and putting that over that. <laughs> okay. That could get copyrighted, so you probably just have to edit your own uh, version of it. Yeah. Maybe I can also figure out how to do the uh, muffled underwater effect as well then. Oh, you you are just staying the hell away, huh? Or now you're going to stay away. Okay. You got the knife. Go. No, we've got to figure out the sequence of doing things here. Get the get the hammer. I really think we're going to need to pry off the locks with that. Let's see. That one's sealed. That one's sealed. Or shot, more like. Okay. Five point four. A bit close to the previous one, but oh well. Machete. I think we just need to find the the quick route to that locked hatch. Uh, remember it, and then just go do it. Uh, get there, get to it quickly, and open it up. Let's see. Let's head back. Just to be certain, because we saw how quickly our health drains once we start drowning. Which, well, makes sense. Okay. Yeah, and kind of makes sense that uh, using a heal item maybe not helps too much. Yeah, it helps delay a small bit, but it also stops us moving. Yeah, we actually just... Uh... Yeah, it, it, yes, it helps, but, but but what little help it does is not worth it. Yeah, it'd be easier to just uh, reload. Let's see. Taking yeah. a risk now. Uh, not that way. Uh, yeah, let's head back. I think we can still make it on this amount of air. Yeah, cutting it close. We're going to lose some health. Okay, it's, it still gives us a small grace period before it actually starts killing us. Okay, put that away. I'll just take that damage. I guess this in part... I thought I killed all of you already. This shows the risk of exploring underwater stuff like this. If you can't... If you don't have anywhere you can get uh, oxygen easy, you are going to... There we go. You are going to drown. Okay. 
There we go. Now where does this... Okay, now we're back on deck. And I guess since we're the only one here, we are now the officer on deck as well. Really? <laughs> yeah, there was that box here. What is in there? It better not be supplies to make sushi. We have plenty of fish. Wait, so... Okay, a key did survive. But it's a very big key, so... True. <clears throat> and big rusty keys, especially these thick boys, are quite sturdy, even when rusty. Depending on how rusted I got them. Like, if it's just surface rust, not a biggie, Oh, but that rust goes deep? Yeah, that's going to uh, compromise it. Yeah. Hmm. It is. <laughs> the key still works, the door not so much. Let's see. Yeah, oh, come on, we can't play with any of these, and what is this here? Aha. Uh -huh. A crank. Okay. How long has this boat been here? Uh, this is in the 50s somewhere. Or no, this 47, I believe. Yeah, it's, I think it says 47 at the start. So yeah. it has been here for... Oh, hello. Yeah, for a year or two, or maybe a bit more. It already looks... A medical kit. It, you, you would expect there to be some flooring or what something here? in here. I can't open it. Maybe you can't, but maybe Mr. Hammer can. I can't open it. No. <laughs> right, it's rusty. It won't budge. Maybe use your maracas. Actually, yeah. Knock, knock. Nope. Hmm. Maybe it's rusted shut, shut then. Oh. We can just climb back out. Oh. Uh, I was to suggest to us the skeleton, but this works too. No, he's a bit thin on answers. Uh, oh. Come on! <laughs> well, at least that was a bit more original. Uh, I think he also has a bone to pick with us. So he's not going to say um, much. And you had to ruin it. There. Okay. Now crank that, Doctor Jones. Okay. Oh. What are those totems doing over there? And I now we use the whip. I must do that first for a wrecking ball. The the reference that I was making was to that crank that soldier boy or whatever that was again. Okay. There's something here. Let's see. Well, well, look at this. Hello. What is this? Okay, apparently the switch to the drain of the aquarium. What the heck? So wouldn't that be pushed just by this uh -huh. the ground on top of it? Who <laughs> was it? Additional shot? herbs. Okay. We've discovered one thing, and I think that is all we can find in this area. So, knifey time. Ow. Okay, I should have slid down there. Oh, I did not see that one. 
Try to be careful, friend. Let's see. Yep, we can climb on here. And I'm guessing we're going to find something in the other direction. So, for security's sake, 5.5. I'm not going to use a health kit yet. Since we haven't found er, faced much opposition at the moment. Or at least nothing that can get at us from a distance. So I'm just going to save up the heals until yeah we are near death. Or even further near death. Why did you shoot? I want to see if I could get the, the crab running or something. Yeah. Seagull, be careful. Yeah. Let's see. I think this is going to loop around. So... Hmm. Let's see, we found one switch at the totems. Oop. And get back out. So if we find any other totems, that should there should be another switch. I, I don't think whipping the shark will help much. Putting a bullet in that though will. I think that one connected. Oh hello, there's is that totem. Oh, and there we go. I think that is actually the place that drains or had the sand drain away. Yes, it is. Okay, the door is still locked though. It was underwater? Yep. Hmm. Let, actually, let's say. Oh, go ahead. It was a. It was a. Maybe heal up and save? Yeah, let, let's explore the Zero down there. I'm pretty sure that is supposed to be a Zero fighter. Let's see. Anything in the waters here? Yep. Can I actually... No. Okay, but at least it's nice to know that there's another fish in there to be a little... Yeah. <laughs> nuisance. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to go get sushi tomorrow just out of spite to these little biters. And yes. <laughs> just to spite them. Yep. Okay, someone's going to spite me for my spite. Can we do Why don't we drink some sp uh, Sprite? <laughs> uh, hammer time? go. I'm not sure what we could use that for. Anything in the cockpit? Nope. nope. I will say it would probably be pretty cool to make, get an old propeller like that uh, as something to hang up in your room like a yeah, like a roof fan or some, a ceiling fan or something like that. Uh, Even if it's a replica. People usually put those propellers on the walls as decorations. True, but if you could make it functional as well, that would be double cool. Uh, oh, because they are heavy and they hit hard. Yeah. Let's see. I think we've seen enough of people getting hit by the ceiling fan <laughs> videos. Okay, ugly fishing coming. I doubt these propellers will decapitate you, but a whack from these propellers would probably hurt a lot and maybe crack your skull. Okay, we can't go any further. There's a flow going back, Oop, pushing us back. Okay, even more um, sushi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bloody heck. 
you see yourself how comically far back they put the like some sharks the eyes with the pen with they are but this is a way too far back yeah so far back that it would be a huge disadvantage for it to hunt Okay, let's check on the other side of the lagoon. If there's anything there. Otherwise, we probably need to go look back for that other... That singular totem that we found somewhere around here. I think straight ahead-ish. Hmm. Maybe get take care of the shark as well. Whilst we're here. Go up. Breathe and out. And out. I very much doubt that we can just open up the door. Hmm. What do you do if you don't try? I presume the game will push us back if we try to get go any further past here. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if these mines are still active, seeing as it has only been a few years since they've likely been placed. So can we go any further than this, or are we going to get pushed back again? Push back. Okay. Then let's go find that singular totem we found. Get up. Good boy. Hmm. Yeah, let's yeah, let's see uh, find the single totem uh, the single totem you're talking about. Yeah. Maybe we can have it uh, find the day. Other areas we can find now here. Uh how would I know? You're the one that played this before me. Also, where are we going to need part of a propeller? Actually, yeah. I'm pretty sure that we're done with the, the Japanese warship. I'm guessing it was a torpedo boat. It had torpedoes, so it makes, it makes sense to go to that. Let's see. I hope there's no hidden rooms or anything that we need uh, Ergon's tool to open up. Okay, I thought I heard a growl. There's that totem. Is there anywhere... It's maybe less a totem and more an idol. I'm guessing whoever this was likely died of poisoning or something. If they, yeah, if they were gotten by some animal, they wouldn't be there. And yeah. okay, I just suspect they might died in there due to the collapse, and they were uh, only able to dig themselves out. Uh, it wasn't collapsed, it was that the vines overgrew the entrance. That wouldn't be uh, too difficult to deal with. Um, there was something if... behind the vines before you cut them down that you broke with a gun. Uh, something with an explosive barrel, I'm guessing. Hmm. Okay, if we go there, that's going to lead back to the torpedo boats. 
So, hmm. Let's see. Chalk, organ's part, and shovel, the propeller blades, and the rusty hammer. Hmm. Let's take, take another look over this way. I think we've dealt with every fish in this part. And I'm going to take a quick look as to what we might be completely missing. Yeah. For we uh, are at this point running blind in a very bad way. Indian Jones and the Machine Lagoon. Let's see. Yo, well, hello. If you're giving me a free shot like this, I'll, I'll take it. Let's see. Goon. Uh, that's still Shambhala. Okay. Uh, there we go. Palawan Lagoon. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Philippines. Machete. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's divine. Back in the wall, yes. Mm -hmm. It's a cave, entrenching tool. Treasure, yeah. The machete works in the water. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, well, something that's annoying with these, uh, some of these guys is that they act, do it step by step, like, which makes it annoying to, when you want to find a specific point. Let's see, that's the destroyer. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Well, mm -hmm. step by step can be useful for then you may notice you missing something. Let's see. Yeah, that's the key. Use the crank. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, on the way back. Get the fight and uh, get the fighter planes propeller blades. Two trees. Yeah, that's the door there. Oh. Oh, really? Okay, that's just annoying. There is no second button. But we have made ourselves a crowbar. What? Yeah, we need the propeller blade to pry it open. What? Well, I was thinking to joke about that earlier. But I realized, well, it would be even too dumb to be in, uh, to work. Okay. And they're not. Would be nice if the doc, uh, if, if Indy had something like, maybe I can pry this open. Yeah, it says, hmm? yeah. Hold on. Propeller blade is not exactly the first choice. Uh, hello. Do we need to put it at the bottom or something? Okay. okay. Okay, first off, air. Then we continue in. And make a save. But yeah, that that was just dumb. Yeah, again, I was planning to suggest slash joke 
to use the propeller, but even I felt like no, that would not even make sense. Yeah, I had a feeling we were missing someplace again. Come here, you over so overgrown salmon. Okay, first off, where is air? Second off, damn lovely music. No Can music, come back. As well? oh, no, we lost the blade. Okay, so no more prying open. Period is long enough. Just long enough. Okay. Now, what do we actually need to find in there? First off, we need to find an air pocket, of course. Uh, how do we even progress in through here? Silver bar, nice, but not necessary. What we need is air. Hmm. Can we just push this one open or something? Try. Nope. That means there's either a switch somewhere. We need another prime tool. Is this what the be one of those levels we end up using a guide a lot? Maybe. <sighs> or maybe the shovel. The yeah, shovel it's is, a, well it is going to, to be try. annoying to go in and out every time. I pray that that door leads to some air. Switch, or rather, button. Oh, well. big button. But it's not red. Oh no, it's not a button. It's a pulley thing. And that opens her up. And there's air. Okay, let's get a move on. Ugly fish. Yeah, you keep away, you, yeah? Seconds. Also served. What the heck? Okay. There's something. Is this other than a broken pillar? Does it actually go in? Let's see. Okay. I'm guessing part of this collapsed in on itself, but very clearly. And we'll hit the entrance. Hey. So we don't know what is crawling around here. Uh, it would be something more terrifying than Komodo dragons and sharks, ain't there? We'll have to see. No. Yes. Okay, we can grab onto that, but where would we want to go? Over there, I'm guessing. Pardon. Okay. Pardoned. Let's see, we've still got a good amount of time to go. 
So let's see if we can get into this sanctuary. And what was the priest's name again? Dealheart or something? Yeah, I forgot them. Not teal heart. Like it was teal with something. Two I think. We hopefully uh, get the news soon once we find the item. Yeah, I think we won't find it that quick. But we will have a permanent reminder when we do find it. Nothing here. Oh, oh hello. Um. Okay, is that the door we passed but seen from the inside? Let's take a look. Hmm. Where was that? Uh, let's see, is this a safe fall? Safe? Hurt, but didn't kill. Okay, that is b completely caved in. So, where was that door? Oh, <laughs> over here. We completely, <laughs> we completely missed the main entrance and went through the side passage. Ugh. Oh dear gods. There we go. Mm, still not enough for the map, and we are still good on heals. So, yeah. Kind of warm in here. The volcano can't still be active, can it? Okay, that was a lot easier to get into than the previous sanctuary. See, yeah. Rock. Okay, we've got swinging points. I feel like that might be a... Uh, a red flag. I might have something, something already in here to go to the temple. Hmm. We didn't really get a, an origin on whatever the, those ice creatures were. Then again, maybe, maybe there's some sort of energy that clings to the parts. Hmm. Maybe. They did call it a curse. And she absolutely did not want that thing back. Don't be picky. Well, we we know what to do here. Let's play some rock and roll. Oh, what a lovely ladder. This would fall apart so easily. I think you'd be, I think you'd be safer pressing uh, between the walls and climbing up that way. <laughs> Anything hidden? Oh. 
Okay, thank you. Get the put it away before Look I can grab it. Okay, at least I died with a view. Southern pitch black immediately. Ooh. Ethan, how? Okay, no creepy what crawlies. The... What's that? Oh. I Looks like a funeral barge. One of the local kings, or Toklet, Marduk's man in Palawan. Toklet, it was. Okay. Uh, uh, somewhere I mistook that the gray is the under the grace of a neon sign that puffed me off guard. <laughs> okay. I don't think they had neon back in uh, 2000 BC something. Yeah. That's why I'm so confused. Let's see. More ugly fish. Ugly statue. An ugly miss. Hey, this was a different. It was also a green. These are red. Can't be that poor of a shot. It's, they're going straight over. <laughs> okay, that's not going to work. So, more Cersei time. Hmm. Yesterday, I. <laughs> one little thing. Yesterday, I actually saw uh, a delivery. Uh, you know those scooters with the uh, the coffers at the back, or what? What are they going to be the right coffer? It, it, the the things on the back with the, the logos and such from specific places as the deliverers go to well deliver stuff. Uh, yeah. Well, yesterday one of the neighbors had sushi uh, delivered, and that was very obvious. <laughs> <laughs> the name of the shop was literally uh, Sushi Dori, Dori Mi, or something like that. Okay. Now we've got a boat here. I didn't know you could get sushi whom delivered. And it depends on the shops and such, and it does, of course, cost extra to have delivered. It does make sense, and, well... Gas cost money. Yeah, and wages for the deliverer. Okay, should probably put up a save again soon. I think I saw a passage in the upper right, the, where we just passed through. That okay. fish sounded weird. Sounded like my belly. Oh my, what's my belly? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm guessing you're hungry for sushi too. Damn that. No, that's a weird thing. I think, I think it's, it's busy working with the sandwiches I ate earlier. At the beginning of the stream. <laughs> Actually, we're now at 6.1. Since it's, uh, we had entered a new level. Okay. okay, lucky dodge. I I'm, I would prefer you if you landed and killed it. The volcano's active, all right. Yeah. Oh no. A lava level. Wrong button. <laughs> uh, did he explode? What? Okay, apparently, in, apparently, Indiana Jones uh, survives on a diet of high explosives himself. It, damn it! Okay, I don't think we're going to find more uh, of those kids. The volcano's active, all right. 
Okay. I guess you need to slide. Box. Maybe you need to slide and jump. Yes, we can actually jump from the slopes. Okay. Not something you'd guess by the way he slides down them, but they're uh, well. No. Holy. I was right. Let's see. Yeah, I think we've got a bit of a puzzle going. We need to get across, but those blocks are going to well uh, block our path. again and then pull the other might as well pull it now pull. 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 okay then we push the other pull this one once more and we should be free to go Unless we need these blocks on the other side. But then we can just pull them over. Can we reach that? Nope. Our jump height from standstill like this for grabbing is like one and a half of these blocks. Yeah, some games do it like that for some reason. Yeah, come on. Okay, no corner surprise. <coughs> All right, up we go. I'm out of room here. Wait, what? I can't... I can't push it, I can't pull it. That means it needs to be moved to the side, from the side. Okay. Hmm. Probably fix that on the outside? Yep. Let's see. Nope. Here. Wait, if we push it... Wouldn't that just be a shortcut or something? It might be. Oh, no, I see. We, we would block off being able to get on top from the other side of it now. And we need to go over there. So... Just so we don't have to go all the way around again. Good, and let's see. Yeah, we got about 10 minutes remaining. Yeah. Likely not enough to finish this level, but still to get good. Some more extermination practice in. Okay, quite a bit of extermination practice. Yeah, these are huge. I'm pretty sure we don't have the social levels to support these kind of spiders. Hmm. Now we have a button. It's the same symbol as we had on the other one before, I think, the one we unearthed. Okay, now what is going to be behind door number one? We will mm. soon see. Now 
Raiding Spiders. Oh. Raider Key. We don't have a key. Do we? Don't we? We have Ergon's parts. I can't open it. Okay. He missing where something. Do we go from here. Don't, can we climb on this? It seems a bit high. Yeah, too high. Hmm. There's nowhere that we can climb up here. So can we get a better look from down here now that the camera isn't downwards? Some area behind the boats. Oh. Okay, probably no. Hmm. Okay, time to check if there was something where I thought there I saw something here earlier. So six point four. Okay, there was something here. Oh, and another point down. Nikki. Wait, is this just... This leads to the same place. Okay. Why have a split in the path if you're just going to connect again so quickly? Good question. A shortcut? No, it's too... It's not long enough to have a shortcut, really. Uh, is there something we missed here? Doesn't look like it. Maybe a... Uh, yeah, a treasure or, or something. But it doesn't look like there's any other exits. Yeah, it has to be around somewhere. Or here. <clears throat> Why or am I getting so tired now? Again? this here, but I'm pretty sure we can't squeeze through that. So either or... there's a switch somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Dr. Jones is going to need a crash diet to fit through that. Let's see. There's a barge with a body and something on top of it. Hmm. I don't think I saw any cracked walls or anything. We can't go back this way. Hmm. Anything around this corner? Okay, I get the feeling we need to get on top of that barge to get on top of this here, since it's too high to climb up. Hmm. I'm pretty sure if we were supposed to find a key where we were, that would have been very obvious. I made a bit of a loss as to... Okay, uh, no, I thought I saw a small passage or something. That is the trick of the eye. Uh, mm. hmm. 
We're gonna have to look at the guide again, don't we? Yep. Okay. Uh, volcano. Let's see. Wait for the bubble. What? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Two scorpions. Interesting view. Inlet creates a small lagoon. Uh, platform with two tiki torches. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to progress much because also uh, beyond not knowing where to go with this, uh, Mother Nature is starting to call again. So, yeah. One more save. 6.5. Probably could have just gone back to the 6.4 since so we're close enough, but oh well. Uh, yeah. Turn the display capture off. Uh -oh. what the? And head uh -oh. over here. Okay, then. Still got a good, amount of, a good amount of progress there. We got the first of four parts of the Infernal Machine. Yep. And we're close to the next. Okay. Change the screen share so we can see who we are going to raid. Uh, let's see. Uh, Reef to Leaf is online streaming Monster uh, Rancher. Uh, Monster Rancher 1 DX. And then we have I'm Gnai streaming uh, Minish Cap again. Life Grow is still streaming Green Hell. Brain has moved on to Company of Heroes 3. The Digital Hazard is streaming Digimon World 2. Big V Streams is playing Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim. Kevinay is still streaming Phantom Brigade. And uh, Rico uh, Prufe is streaming Sonic Frontiers. Halloween 4545, Fear and Hunger 2, Termina. Okay. Any of those sound interesting? Hmm. Side is still muted. Hmm. I guess Phantom Brigade? Uh, didn't we uh, raid them earlier? Or was that someone else? Uh, I for I forgot. <laughs> Just shows how good either of our memories is, huh? And uh, yeah. uh, I think yeah, my I brain is getting way too early ready for summertime, which is at the end of this month. Okay, I'm just going to take a quick pick because, yeah, I really need to freaking go now. So let's go raid nice again with Minish Cap. Slash raid, paste, and start that immediately. And yeah, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you, Sir Wister Kier. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, uh, tomorrow we'll see how many we'll see how many streams we'll do. Probably an, at least one of Indiana Jones in this week. And yeah, another one of Mr. Shifty, hopefully, as well. Yay! So, until next time, have a nice day. And uh, yep, no, thank you all for watching. And yeah, until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. I wash out for ice monsters. <laughs> and Komodo dragons. And sharks. And very ugly fish. As eagles. Yep. <laughs> stream Deck. Uh, I guess we should watch that for Stream Deck too. <laughs>